Internships are important in all disciplines and especially in tech. You're not just gonna be fetching coffee, but instead writing code and seeing what it's like to be a software engineer. It's a chance to work at your dream company, get paid, and learn new tools and languages. However, can freshmen also get these internships? Hello everyone, my name is Maya Bello and I'm a software engineer and today we're talking about internships. All you freshmen and sophomores, all you high school seniors about to become college students, I'm looking specifically at you and we're going to talk about different opportunities that you can apply to and the applications are going to be available soon. Some of you might be thinking, I've never coded before, I've never taken a college course in coding, I don't think I can apply to these programs. That is totally the wrong mentality and I want imposter syndrome to just leave the room, be out the vicinity, we are not talking to homegirl, and we instead are talking about these opportunities that you should apply to. They are expecting you to have only taken about one coding course, one math course. We're about to dig into this and we'll look at different companies and different requirements, but I just want you to know that you can apply to these programs. They're not looking for you to have crazy experience, but instead just get to know what it's like to work at their specific company. An application is actually due soon for sophomores and and juniors it's a program called code 2040 a program I wish I did and basically it's for black and Latino students where you basically go through this interview process with code 2040 and then later they match you with different companies where you would then go through another interview process with that company they give you a lot of mentorship they give you a lot of tools and it just sounds like a really great program I know when I interned there was a whole group of code 2040 people and I was like dang y'all got friends I wish I was there but yeah it sounds like a great program let's just start this video okay, so the first opportunity I'm going to talk about is Facebook University and if you want to learn more and navigate to this URL and I'll have all URLs in the description box so what I really want to talk about is a specific program FBU for engineering so if you click learn more you can read more about this program and what you can see here, I really want to highlight the requirements because I don't want you all to feel like you don't have enough qualifications. So requirement, you have to be a current first year. So we're looking for class of 2023, class of 2022. And then also something else, knowledge of at least one programming language. So a lot of you will be learning your first programming language, your first semester, your first quarter in college. So you will have this knowledge. And then also if you're not taking a course, that's totally okay. See if you can take a course at your community college or also see if you can take an online course as well in one of these languages. The application is closed right now. However, definitely click this button and sign up for the newsletter so when the application comes out for 2021, you can get notified. So it looks like last time the application opened up around September 15th, so you can think that maybe around the same time period the 2021 application will also open up. So make sure you just put something in your calendar for September 15th, you know, October 1st, so you can keep checking back so you can apply ASAP. Another program I want to highlight is brought to you by Google and let's go to the top here so it's the step program for first and second year undergraduate students however if you are you know an upperclassman Google definitely has more programs as well and so does Facebook it must be a first or second year and what they have that's a little bit different from Facebook's qualifications is that you must have taken one college level computer science course by the end of the first semester and AP or IB computer science is acceptable so y'all if you can still choose your classes make sure you definitely choose a computer science type course and if you already picked your classes I would say it's definitely worth it to look at a community college course or an online course as long as it's at the college level so you can apply to this program and then for high school students if there's any high school people watching hey and there's also this program if you're a high school senior uh, you can also apply to this one, so just definitely check out this URL I'll have it in the description box below. Oh, I, I think I'm getting something. We have breaking news. 70% of people who are watching this video are not yet subscribed. You do not want to be part of that statistic. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you like this video and also 
smash that subscribe button so you can stay up to date and see future videos like this. We got some more coding tutorials coming up, more advice, more resources, so make sure you stay up to date. Okay, and as an honorable mention, I also want to mention Summer of Code with Google. And it's a really cool program where it's not an internship, but basically you can propose a project and then accepted students get to actually work on the project with a mentor and then get to share that project. So I think this is an incredible program as well. Applications look like it will open around January 14th, 2021. So just put that date in your calendar and it sounds like a great program. So the next company that I am highlighting that has different programs is Microsoft. So they have some for high school students. So high school students, you can get started early. Please check this out. And they also have different programs as well, like Explore Microsoft. So let's learn more about it. So then, and the requirements differ from company to company. So it's good to look at this early so you can know how to plan your schedule. So I was quickly looking at these requirements. So first or second year of college, boom. United States, Canada, Mexico, yay. And then also majoring in computer science or computer engineering, software engineering, any of those technical related majors. And then students must have completed an introduction to computer science course, as well as one semester of calculus. So I want y'all to, you know, make sure calculus is also in your schedule for the first semester. So see if you can smoothie stuff along if you have not already or if you have already picked your classes. So the next program we are highlighting is from Dropbox, but they have university grads and internships and this program also sounds amazing. You can read their stories. So for open positions, so it says we wrapped up intern and new grad hiring for the season, but our application process for 2021 rolls open in late August. Check back then. Y'all, you know, it's so crazy because this was something that was not even on my radar when I was just starting, you know, when I was just starting being a computer science major, when I was starting my journey. But it's like, even before your first day of school, because I was on the quarter system, so my first day was actually in September, you can apply to these programs. And I know it might be super intimidating because you have not written your first line of code for some people. Like I know some people start in college. However, you know, I just want you to apply anyways. While you're in your classes learning, you're also applying to these programs. And that's kind of just how it works. So yes, so late August, definitely check out this program by Dropbox. Also, just to note that these were in no particular order. Uh, I just think it's great that companies have these programs for freshmen, so I'm just happy to share some of my findings. So Bank of America has a program. I couldn't find any information about when it starts, but definitely check out this link that I have and you can learn more about it. Also Uber, check them out. Pinterest has a program, come to the bay, ay. and then also I was on LinkedIn, just randomly scrolling, and I saw this, and of course it's for 2020, however, we'll be on the lookout for 2021, you know what I'm saying? So it looks like this was posted 10 months ago, so maybe in two months they'll have that application open. So these are just some of the programs I found, also like look into startups and all of that. Okay y'all, that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed watching it, just let me know by leaving a comment and I hope you learned something new. I just want to say that you can apply to these programs and at the end of the day, even if you don't feel ready, I would rather fail and I tried than just not try at all and just regret that. You know, the worst thing they can say is no. You take that no and you move on from it, you know. Someone said it, I think Courtney said it in my previous video with my interview with the software engineer, failure is the stepping stones to success. So don't be afraid to put yourself out there. You can do it. I'm rooting for you, and I will see you in the next video.